Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. In a few weeks, analog TV will cease to exist in the United States and look kind of like that. The current digital TV standard is very fragile and many people believe analog was more reliable. Why exactly did the FCC force analog TV stations to shut down? Is it a conspiracy to get people to subscribe to cable and satellite? Stay tuned to find out. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Hopefully this isn't too distracting, but I think it relates to the topic. Many of us have fond memories of analog over the air TV. I know I do. I even made a series of videos locating some of the last analog TV stations still on the air in the United States. Back in 2009, full power TV stations were required to convert to digital. Prior to this, there was a time when digital and analog TV stations coexisted all across the United States. So why exactly did TV stations have to shut down their analog signal? Around the digital transition of 2009, the FCC sold UHF channels 52 through 69 to cell phone companies. With a reduction of TV spectrum, there wasn't enough room for both analog and digital TV broadcasts, so the FCC made full power TV stations shut off their analog signals. I'm sure that most TV stations planned on shutting off the analog signals at some point anyway, but the mandate was definitely related to the TV spectrum being diverted to cell phone companies. Around 2017, less than a decade later, the FCC sold more spectrum to cell phone companies, specifically UHF channels 38 through 51. This resulted in major reception problems nationwide from the huge mess the FCC repack created. The mess consisted of TV stations stuck at reduced power for months or years due to lack of tower crews, TV stations on the same frequency being short spaced and interfering with each other, and the loss of what would otherwise be reliable local channels during tropo conditions in the summer. Although most have already converted digital, low power TV stations have technically been allowed to broadcast analog this whole time. The ones that still do have coexisted with digital TV stations and pose no interference threats since they've been assigned a frequency by the FCC. So why do they have to shut down as well? I can't say for certain, but it's definitely easier for the FCC to sell even more spectrum to cell phone companies in the future if all TV stations are digital. With digital, TV stations can make channel sharing agreements to broadcast multiple stations on a single RF channel in the event one loses their spectrum if it's sold to cell phone companies. This became pretty common in the last FCC repack. For example, in Philadelphia, NBC10 channel shares with Telemundo 62 on the same RF channel. Most markets have at least one or several channel shares taking place. While it allows multiple TV stations to keep their signal on the air, it does reduce the picture quality. So there you have it. The main reason analog over the air TV was shut down completely and not phased out over time was because of spectrum diversion to cell phone companies. I think it's a bit unfortunate. Even though analog TV may be considered obsolete by some, just look at AM radio. It's still supported despite a dying audience. I think the only reason it still exists is because no company wants the trash spectrum it's on. Personally, I think the FCC should have let analog TV stations continue operating on low VHF since most TV stations left the band anyway. This could have been very beneficial in mountainous areas where digital may be problematic. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video and hopefully the static wasn't too distracting, but doesn't it look so cool? Wouldn't it be cool if you could just see kind of like a little network logo come out of this? An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.